what I eat in a week video this week. I love doing these. The original inspiration for these videos is Lindsay Ram. I love the way that she just takes you along her week and shares exactly what she's eating. And so I don't subscribe to any particular diet. I eat absolutely everything. And I also believe in just having balance in what I eat. So I do try to cook with a lot of whole foods. I love cooking. If you watch the vlogs, you know that it's a big part of something that brings me a lot of joy is just working with my hands, cooking and making meals. But with that being said, I do believe in having balance. I like things that may be considered treats and I don't restrict myself. Don't subscribe to any sort of diet. I know these videos can be hard if you have maybe a bad relationship with food. And so if this is something that you're gonna compare what I eat versus what you eat, I wouldn't recommend watching this video. It's more just a means to share recipes that I like and food that I enjoy making. And I always love watching these personally to get new ideas. So that is the purpose of this video. I do wanna say that there are two things that I do every day that I didn't actually show every day because I didn't want this to get too monotonous. But one is I take my pre and probiotic from seed. I love it. It helps with my digestion, my gut health. I'd highly recommend it. And two, I usually have two coffees per day. I have a cup of hot coffee from our coffee pot that we brew every morning. And then I also usually do an iced coffee in the afternoon. So I didn't show that every day, but that is something that I do every day. And I think that's everything that I have to say. So let's just go ahead and get into the video. For breakfast this morning, I'm gonna make myself a cottage cheese bowl, which sounds kind of weird for breakfast, but I've been really liking eating this cottage cheese. It has a lot of protein in it, and it honestly tastes really good too. So good culture, whole milk, classic cottage cheese. I got this from Whole Foods. I'm gonna top it with an apple, a little bit of peanut butter, some granola, cinnamon, and then just a little bit of oat milk. And I promise this sounds weird, but it's really delicious. So let's make it. So good. I promise it sounds weird with the cottage cheese, but it's really so delicious. And this always keeps me really full because it has a ton of protein in it. Mm -mm. I'm honestly still pretty full for my breakfast, but I'm about to run to an appointment. So I do want to eat before. So I'm just gonna make a really quick salad. I saw this from College Nutritionist, who I really like on Instagram. She does a lot of just easy, healthy meals. And all this is, is a cucumber salad with cucumber, chopped pecans, feta cheese, and avocado. So I'm just gonna mix this up, eat this before I need to run out the door. I'm also had to do a coffee chop to get some work done after this appointment. So I'll probably get a snack there too. This should hold me over for a little bit. Whenever we work out at F45 in the evenings, I always like to do something pretty simple when I get home. So for dinner, I'm just doing air fryer chicken thighs. I just always Google for air fryer recipes, like simple chicken recipe, simple whatever recipe. And I found one that is pretty quick. So I'll have that link down below, but I'm gonna make those. Roast some sweet potatoes in the oven. And then I'm also just gonna do a quick side salad and just use a dressing that we have. Really simple, very bare bones, but still sounds really good. I always like cooking chicken thighs. That's my favorite form of chicken to eat. So I'm excited. salad dressing and I also am out of oil. So I just Googled a salad dressing that was really simple to make without oil. So we're just doing some red wine vinegar, Dijon mustard, as well as a little bit of maple syrup. I've never done this before, but I'm not a huge dressing person. I don't really care about the taste of dressing. I just usually like something simple, so this should be okay. Because I'm not working out till later, I'm probably gonna work out around 10 o'clock. I'm gonna go ahead and just have a little bit of a snack before. I'm just eating a banana. Especially when I do strength workouts, I do like to eat something before, but usually when I work out right away in the morning, I like to do it more on a fasted state. It just feels better, especially when it's cardio. For strength, I just wanna have a little bit of fuel, so. 
I just came back from my workout. It's 11.30, so I'm definitely ready for breakfast. I don't normally eat this late. So I'm gonna make kind of a bigger breakfast and I'm just gonna do some avocado toast with a couple of eggs. I actually usually make my own sourdough, but this is what we have left over. I'm trying to use this up. I'm probably gonna make some here this week, but this is just whole food sourdough. I'm gonna use an avocado with a little bit of feta cheese, pickled onions, some seasoning, and then two fried eggs. So really hungry, so let's get to cooking. right now but I packed myself a couple of snacks it's about 2 20 right now and I'm getting a little bit hungry so I'm just gonna eat an apple then this is just a meat stick it's a Vermont barbecue one I love this brand and something that I always try to do is pair something like a carb like an apple with a protein it always keeps me more full especially when I'm just eating snacks and I didn't feel like paying for food out and about today so I just packed snacks and I'll probably eat another snack when I get home I ended up making myself another snack. I just had some popcorn and carrots and hummus. I also made some banana bread. I was craving a little baking session, and so I will have the recipe linked down below. It's one of my favorites. It's super moist, really delicious. I just baked some banana bread because our bananas were ripe, so I'm gonna have this as a little snack. This is my third snack, it's 5.30 right now, so I was gonna wait to eat this till after dinner as my dessert. When you take the banana bread out of the oven, you have to have a warm slice, so that's what I'm doing. We ended up going to Flower Child for dinner, and I got a salmon bowl with cauliflower risotto and broccoli. Aiden always gets the chicken bowl with mac and cheese and broccoli. This is one of our favorite restaurants. It's kind of like a healthier fast food, but it's always super yummy. For breakfast this morning, I just made myself some oats and to top it off, I'm gonna do kind of like a berry oatmeal bowl. And we're first just gonna do some frozen berries. I actually heated these up a little bit, but not totally, cause I like how the oatmeal actually makes it melt. So we're gonna add in those. A little bit of some nut butter too. I just did peanut butter, but you can do whatever nut butter you prefer. I like to add in a little bit of bee pollen. I usually do this on my yogurt bowls too. Bee pollen has a bunch of benefits, so I always like to add this in whenever I make something. Just a little bit. It doesn't really taste like anything really. I'm also adding a little bit of cinnamon. So I already added some whenever I cooked the oats, but I really like cinnamon, so I'm just adding some more on here. And lastly, I'm just drizzling some honey over top of everything. worked at a coffee shop with my friend and I ended up getting lunch while I was there. I was trying not to eat out, but I started getting hungry and I always just like to eat when I'm hungry. And so we went to a coffee shop called Foxtrot and I ended up getting a Mediterranean turkey bowl. It was really good. I had like turkey, cucumbers, hummus, really, really good. And then also some, also had some rice, but I just got home and I cut myself another piece of banana bread. So it's just also sounded really good. This banana bread is so good. You guys have to make it. I will have the recipe linked down below. It's just so moist and doesn't have refined sugar or anything. So really good. Got back from another evening workout, which means that it's a quick dinner night. And tonight we're actually gonna make steak. So when we do this, we typically have steaks one night a week. I like to eat red meat probably once a week or so just to get iron, because I sometimes struggle with having enough iron. So Aiden is, Cash is going crazy right now, but Aiden is going to grill our steaks for us. It's nice, our apartment has grills. So we have a couple of strip steaks that he's gonna grill. And then I'm just gonna do what I did earlier this week, air fry up a couple of sweet potatoes and then just put together a salad. I actually stopped by Whole Foods to grab the steaks and so I went ahead and grabbed this salad dressing. This is the Cleveland Kitchen brand. It's this fermented garlic Italian. It had really great ingredients in it, nothing too crazy and it's supposed to support gut health. I think it has fermented vegetables in it so I decided to take it easy instead of making my own. But let's go ahead and cut up these sweet potatoes. And while I put together the sides, I'm actually just sipping on some kombucha. Sometimes when I'm cooking dinner, I like to just make a little kombucha so I'll just put this together.
It is Thursday morning and I'm about to make something for breakfast I've never actually made before, but I've seen a lot on Instagram reels and I wanted to try and it is a papaya bowl. Essentially, you just cut a papaya in half and then you stuff it with Greek yogurt, granola, you can do more fruit. I don't have any berries, so I probably won't top it with berries. It sounded good and I'm just gonna work with what I have. I've never actually bought a papaya before, so I'm excited. I hope this is ripe. I'm not sure. But yeah, I've been seeing this all over Instagram reels and I decided to give it a try. So we're doing something fun today. but I'm gonna try the papaya boat right now. That bite was kind of just yogurt. It's a little impractical. I mean, do you really need to eat this out of a papaya? Probably not, but romanticize the small things, you know? I just did an afternoon workout and so it's about two o'clock. I'm gonna make myself a lunch and I'm thinking for lunch today, I'm just gonna do a snack plate. This is one of my favorite lunches to do. I'm not super hungry, but I want a little bit of everything. We're gonna put together a snack plate. We're gonna start by doing just a couple of turkey slices. My turkey does not wanna roll for some reason, so these are not very cute, but we're just gonna put that on there. Also just gonna add in some cucumber slices. Some of these garlic herb crackers. This is the Ithaca lemon dill hummus. I love this hummus, it's definitely my favorite. So we're gonna put some on the side, eat with the cucumber. And I had made this earlier this week, but this is a cowboy caviar. It has corn, bell pepper, onion, cilantro, beans, a bunch of good stuff. I'll have the recipe down below. It's from Callus Clean Eats on Instagram. I love her page for like healthier eats. started on making our dinner tonight and tonight I'm making these chipotle honey salmon bowls. This is from Half Baked Harvest who I love. I love her recipes. I've made this one quite a few times because I think it's so good and we've been trying to eat just a little bit more salmon lately. So that's what dinner's going to be. This one probably takes about 30 minutes to make but it's really really tasty so let's do it. Friday was my birthday, so it was a bit of an abnormal day. I had quite a bit of eating out, which I normally don't eat out this much, but we went to Paradiso, which was amazing. I would highly recommend if you're in the Dallas area. We ended up getting some cocktails, which these had ginger beer, honey, and lemon, and I believe vodka was the spirit in there. And then for lunch, I got the veggies and hummus along with this couscous salad that had a lemon, cucumber, tzatziki, red onion, mint, and dill. And then for dinner, I ended up ordering from True Food. Aiden and I just hung out at home and I got some chicken parmesan. And then we went to the Sprinkles Cupcake ATM and I got a Sprinkles Cupcake because it was my birthday. That is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, I'll have all the recipes linked down below that I mentioned. And if you wanna share what your favorite recipe to make from home is, I would love to hear. I'm always trying to find new recipes to make. So I definitely appreciate that if you wanna leave it down below. But yeah, I'm so thankful for you guys. Feel free to stick around if you're new. I post videos twice a week. I do a lot of food content, home content, lifestyle, all of the above. Feel free to subscribe and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye friends.